Hello everyone, welcome to UI Brains and this is Naveen. Uh, in this video, we'll see the next question of warm-up 2. Okay, so we have seen the first question. Now we'll see the second question. Front times. Okay, uh, let me open this. Okay, so let me zoom this. Okay, the question is given a string and a non-negative integer n. They are given a string and one non-negative integer n. So we will say that the first of sorry uh, they are given a string and non-negative integer n. So we will say that the front of the string is first three characters okay or whatever is there the string is less than three written n copies of the front okay got it uh, so actually they have given a string and one integer n so what they are saying is so we will say that the front of the string is the first three characters or whatever is there uh, if it is less than three characters and written in copies so the question is in the previous uh, video we have seen that if they given some two you have to repeat the whole string two times if they give three, we repeat the same string of three times, right? So now this question is slightly different. What is that is don't repeat the whole string, okay, as per the number of times. So the only condition you have to check is if it is more than the length of three, you have to return only the first three characters of a string. If it is less than three, then go for whatever is there. So if it is less than three, uh, same like the previous logic, whatever the string is there, just keep on add up to the temporary string the given number of times and return. If it is more than three characters, then just find out only the three characters from the string. Okay, so same logic like previous, but only one thing here is how to find out only the three characters, how to pick up only the three characters of the string. Uh, in this case, we go for uh substring method okay so we can start with what first three characters so we start from the index zero and from there exactly three characters you can do substring of zero comma three okay you get the first three characters okay and you have to write the logic for that okay so i do one thing i just copy this method and i just go to eclipse yeah I just paste it okay so now here I just take a string uh, some temporary string tem is equal to just empty because I have to add up to the temporary string so it's like this and the same like a previous for loop you have to write a for loop for this number n so I just say for integer i is equal to 0 and i less than n and i plus plus okay see in the previous question what we have done is we just keep on adding the same string to the temporary string but now here watch if it is length more than three i mean uh greater than or equal to three we need to fetch only the first three characters otherwise same like this okay so let me check the condition so what is that? So if str dot length, okay, length is greater than or equal to three, okay. In this, if it is greater than or equal to three, what you have to do is the temporary string is equal to temp plus not str. You have to get the first three characters. So str dot substring of 0 comma 3 so you get the first three characters okay fine and also see this temp is equal to temp plus something you can just shortcut like temp plus equal to something you can just keep the same logic as it is or else I go for a shortcut if I say temp equal to temp plus something written as temp plus is equal to something okay fine 
so we made a condition if it is greater than or equal to 3 and do this okay or uh, else if not if not greater than or equal to 3 suppose if it is less than uh, the length 3 so what you have to do is return whatever is there okay so temp i go for a shortcut like previous plus is equal to str as it is okay so finally the result has been stored either length greater than 3 or not result stores in the temp variable so let me return the temp variable back okay fine so now let me copy this back to here and let me paste it and click on go yes you got a solution okay see if it is a b4 uh, if it is more than uh, three characters it should be like this and we got the same results and if it is empty and four this empty oh nice okay so that's what it is and you want you can check the solution uh, they write some solution like front length is three and uh, they just check the front length and uh, that's front will be zero comma three and some results and then loop uh, I hope we write a clear solution uh, for the same problem okay yeah fine so I just keep this you can just pause the video here and you can just check what is the solution uh, for this problem okay and please practice this and we'll meet the next video with the next question thank you so much and happy coding thank you